we have had to stop so many things and they've lost so many opportunities to do things that they normally would. There was a real setback of his social skills and his being able to communicate with people. He kind of lost that and it's difficult enough for, as an autistic child anyway to be able to pick up on social cues but when you don't see anyone then that's even harder. My name is Michael Farndale and I've been working with the Lords Taverners and the Change Foundation to put together the Reverse Challenge. One thing I've noticed is the pressure that families have been under, young people, homeschooling, being cut apart from their friends, the pressures and psychological pressures of having to behave very differently during the pandemic. Inside it's been very depressing, there's nobody to talk to, nothing to do. I really wanted to do cricket and like, go to school, but obviously we couldn't because of lockdown. So I didn't have any friends to make and uh, no one was around to play. Our children were isolated and the parents were exhausted. Wicket has given everybody an opportunity to come back to daily life. In October, we'll have a week whereby I'm going to visit all of the main capitals in the British and Irish Isles, starting with Dublin, Belfast, Edinburgh, Cardiff, and then end up in London. And during those visits, I will be doing 26.2 miles running in reverse. So the whole concept is actually leading up to a school's day on the 9th of October. And what we're going to get to do is that every school child in this country will hopefully have the opportunity to sign up, pay a pound, and then create their own reverse day. So what we would really like to do is give kids the opportunity to do something fun with other people. So that could be anything from wearing your uniform in reverse, running around doing something like the boys and girls here. So make it your own, that's the whole point. It's about young people raising money for other young people. It's been really hard, hasn't it, Richard, for him? Oh, over the lockdown over, and stuff. And for him to be able to come back to cricket has been really good. There's a lot of things that wouldn't happen without sponsorship like this. Hopefully, if we get enough people to do this, we can create a world record for young people mass participation fundraising.